Hello, uh, this is Larry with Rapid Set Meta Buildings, and we're going to be going over uh, anchor bolt layout for this garage shop building that's uh, 40 by 60. Uh, it has two framed openings, a 12 by 12 here and a 12 by 12 here. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I want to explain how we call out the walls. It's very important. Uh, it's left end wall, front side wall, right end wall, and then back side wall. And those will be real important when we lay out the uh, um, the anchor bolts. So let's go on to page one of your plan. And this is the, basically the floor plan. And you can see the rigid frames uh, come across here. And you'll have an end wall, a left end wall, and a front side wall, right end wall, and a back side wall. So let's start with the corner here and the kind of get a good view of the anchor bolt plan here. Um, and these e each are patterns. So you have pattern D and B and A and E. So let's, let's start with A. And if we were to go to the detail of the anchor bolts and then dial into pattern A, you could see that uh, this here is the edge of your concrete and it's without a notch because you'd add an inch and a half if you had a notch. Uh, but this is the end wall and this is the side wall because of SW and EW. And then also you could you could see that uh, because they don't, uh, whatever corner of the building your pattern is in, it'll say rotate. Um, and in this case you will actually rotate 180 degrees because you're coming up the end wall to the center of your pattern here and you're coming the end wall down the end wall this way to the center of your pattern you got one foot four inches to the center and then you go obviously two inches and two inches over uh, to set your first bolt and then four and then four and set your template accordingly uh, but real importantly this is the edge of your concrete and the edge of your concrete and this is the side wall and the end wall so where you come up here you'd come up your end wall uh, one foot four inches to the center of your pattern and then two inches up your side you know obviously off the end wall but I just want you to know what which way to pull your tape um, so let's go to E the E pattern on uh, the anchor bolt details and E pattern looks a little funny because it doesn't have the steel profile in there um, and going back to your 3D, it's because this cable right here um, anchors to that base plate as opposed to anchoring into the steel column. Um, so it's real important that that base plate be set in the right place so that the cable uh, planes out correctly when your building is done. So, um, remember EW and SW. So let's, let's go down the EW line. Uh, one foot. So you'd actually go EW would be this wall here and you'd come up one foot to the center of the pattern. So you come up in EW so in reality your your plan is out here a little bit because they don't come to scale on your floor plan. Uh, and the reason is is because your cable it'd be good if your cable missed uh, the girts that are running in your wall right here and runs in front of it so your pattern would actually be out here. So you'd come one foot up on your end wall and taking your side wall which is actually rotated um, uh, one foot four inches up your side wall so you'd come one foot four inches up your side wall this way and then two more inches to your first bolt so you'd go one foot six inches concentrating on just the bolts to the first bolt so your sidewall you'd come uh, one foot six inches to your first bolt and then it would your pattern would be out here it looks like four inches apart because you got two inch two inch and then you have four inches between your pattern i hope that makes sense but just pay attention to the ew and sw and uh, re in relation to how it rotates from the corner so You'd, you'd go, remember this is SW, and then you have EW. 
And let's go to another pattern here. Uh, let's go to pattern B, because B is relatively easy. And it's right here. And for B, uh, three-quarter bolts, which are typical, uh, although you want to make sure that uh, what they are. Um, you come from where it is relative to the plan to the center, and then you got two inches and two inches to set your first bolt and then your template. And in this case, you'd have uh, <coughs> one foot four inches and then uh, ten foot eight inches to the center of B. And then you got four inches or uh, uh, two and two offset to the corner. So let's try that again. So you'd have the one foot four and ten eight. Add those together, and that's where the relative center of the plan is, or the pattern is. And it looks like it's only two inches off the edge of your concrete, which would be uh, your end wall. And then two inches up and two inches over to your first bolt, and then you lay out your pattern accordingly. Okay. Let's go to pattern D. Um, and this pattern D is actually the start of your framed opening, your 12 foot framed opening. So you'd have the D on this side and D on this side, but they're 180 degrees opposed. And you could see that the 12 or the opening starts at the face of your C. So coming back here to pattern D. And you can see that this is a C, C plan, but it's your 12 inch framed uh, or 12 uh, foot framed opening to the face of your C right here. And this could be on the end wall or the side wall, but wherever you have framed openings. So you'd actually have it on, like we're looking at it on the right side from the face of the concrete. And then you flip it 180 degrees for the, the other C over here. And from the 12 foot face, you'd measure 12 foot from the start of your opening right here and then one and a quarter inches to the first bolt set back from your framed opening face and then two inches up from the edge of the concrete. So this right here is the edge of the concrete. And to go back to the pattern, so you do your 12 foot framed opening to the face of your C, 12 foot framed opening to the face of your C, and then the one and a quarter inches back and then two inches off from the edge of your concrete. Um, so to come back to the 3D, um, so we covered uh, the corner column, we covered this column here, we covered the start of your C-channel here, and the end of your C-channel here, and the base plate for your cable. So you just follow the pattern around the building and uh, uh, set your templates according to the assembly manual we give you, and uh, you should be good to go. And this is Larry with uh, Rapid Set Metal Buildings, and thanks. See you next time.